wondered if footballers were really made of steel. How do they conquer brutal injuries? Well, hold on, because some warriors have triumphed over even life-altering foes like cancer and bounced back onto the field. Yes! Get ready to meet 10 footballers who faced cancer head-on and emerged victorious. But before we dive in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up before we dive in. Because you know your support means the world to me. Alright, number 1. Stelian Petrov. The former Bulgarian international and Aston Villa player faced one of the toughest opponents of his life, leukemia. Yes, you see, back in 2013, when he got the diagnosis, he had to hang up his boots. But here's where the story takes a turn. Fueled by the unwavering support of his amazing wife, he fought through the pain and the grueling chemotherapy sessions. He once said he was ready to throw in the towel but his wife's love and encouragement kept him going. Imagine, during his treatment in London, she never left his side, sleeping on a tiny hospital bed right there in his room. And guess what? Stillian didn't just beat cancer. He made a massive return to Aston Villa, and trust me, it was emotional. The fans gave him a standing ovation, welcoming him back with open arms. Number 2. Francesco Acerbi the Italian defender had a heart of gold and a warrior's spirit. Now, Acherbi, alongside coach Mancini and his teammates, paid a visit to an oncological department, spreading joy and handing out gifts, including tickets for the team's Euro 2020 qualifier against Greece. But when it was time for the squad to leave, Acherbi stayed behind. Now you might wonder why. Well, Atserbi himself battled testicular cancer and underwent not one, but two surgeries. So, for him, being in a hospital felt more like home than anywhere else. His journey back to football was nothing short of magical, and he openly admits that his fight with cancer saved him from going down a darker path. It's incredible how adversity can transform us, isn't it? Number 3. Jose Francisco Molina now, just like a Serbi, Molina too had to fight testicular cancer. This guy wasn't just any player. He graced the fields of big clubs like Atletico Madrid, Villarreal and Valencia. But in 2001, doctors dropped the bombshell. He needed surgery and he needed to step away from the game temporarily. Just when you thought the battle was won, cancer reared its ugly head again a year later. But here's where Molina's true grit shines through. He didn't let cancer call the shots. Taking a temporary retirement, he fought tooth and nail to reclaim his life and his passion. And you know what? Real men, they don't stay down for long. Molina bounced back, played his heart out until 2007, and then transitioned seamlessly into management, taking charge of clubs like Villarreal and Getafe. Number 4. German Burgos Here's another titan of football. Not your average manager and not a long shot. You see, Burgos was a former Atletico Madrid player, turned assistant manager who often stepped up to the plate whenever Diego Simeone faced suspension. And boy, did he deliver. With a perfect record as a caretaker, he's like the unsung hero of the touchline. But amidst his coaching career, Burgos faced a formidable opponent of his own, kidney cancer. In 2003, he got the dreaded diagnosis, but did he back down? Not a chance. Burgos tackled cancer head-on, underwent surgery, and bounced back to the sport he loves without skipping a beat. And let's not forget, he also had to endure Simeone's silent treatment after Madrid derby losses. Now that's a whole different kind of challenge. Number 5. Jonas Gutierrez it all started in the spring of 2013, when Gutierrez found himself in a tackle with Arsenal's Bakari Sagna and felt intense pain in his groin. Initially brushed off as a typical football injury, it turned out to be something far more serious. Testicular cancer. Just four months after being given the all-clear, he made a triumphant return to Newcastle United, coming on as a substitute against Manchester United, now, if that's not the epitome of courage and determination, I don't know what is. And here's the icing on the cake. A new tattoo on his hand featuring Eminem lyrics. I am alive again. More alive than I have been in my whole life. Number 6. Louis van Gaal 
Now, Van Gaal was a manager known for his antics on the touchline, including that unforgettable dive during a game against Arsenal. But what many don't realise is that behind the scenes, Van Gaal was fighting a battle of a different kind. Prostate cancer, no less, just before the 2022 World Cup. Can you imagine? Despite facing such a daunting diagnosis, Van Gaal chose to keep it from his players, not wanting to dampen the mood in the camp. Talk about selflessness, right? After undergoing 25 radiation treatments and a nerve-wracking wait of five or six months, he emerged victorious. And you know what he said when he appeared on Dutch TV? I've been through everything. And indeed he had. But not only did Van Gaal conquer cancer, but he also led his team to the knockout stage of the 2022 World Cup. Now that's what I call a true champion on and off the pitch. And guess what? Van Gaal isn't the only manager who has overcome this disease. Number 7. Eric Abidal You see, back in 2010, during a friendly match against England at Wembley, Abidal made a bold promise to return to that very stadium for the Champions League final the following year. In March 2011, Barcelona dropped the bombshell that Abidal had a tumour in his liver. Imagine the shock and fear that must have engulfed him. But did he let it defeat him? Not a chance. Within days, he underwent surgery to tackle the tumour head-on. And here's where the story takes a remarkable turn. Just two months later, Abidal made a triumphant comeback, keeping his promise and winning the final at Wembley. Despite the transplant, doctors told him his career was finished. But Eric, he's not one to take no for an answer. Against all odds, he proved them wrong, going on to play for AS Monaco and Olympiacos Football Club. Number 8. Manuel Neuer Despite being in the spotlight for his exceptional goalkeeping skills, Neuer faced a battle of his own with skin cancer on his face. Before the World Cup in Qatar, he bravely revealed his struggle, sharing that he had undergone surgery not once, not twice, but three times to combat the disease. Talk about resilience. Even as he walked around with a plaster on his face in December 2021, Neuer remained unfazed. He didn't let cancer dictate his life, representing his country with pride in the recently concluded World Cup. Now, most of us would probably panic at the mere mention of cancer, but not Neuer. Instead, he took proactive steps, partnering with tennis player Angelique Kerber to invest in sun cream called Nuki. And get this, Kerber herself is a skin cancer survivor. Number 9. Arjun Robin. You see, shortly after his arrival in West London to join Chelsea in 2004, Robin faced a challenge. He was diagnosed with testicular cancer, but instead of letting it consume him, Robin faced it head-on. Despite the uncertainty, he underwent surgery to remove the lump on his left testicle, prioritizing his health and his family above all else. Football took a back seat, and rightfully so. But here's where the story takes a remarkable turn. Robin didn't just overcome cancer, he returned to the pitch with a vengeance. In the 2004-05 season, he played a pivotal role in Chelsea's title win, scoring nine goals and assisting ten others. From that moment on, there was no stopping him. Finally, you see, there's another player who had to endure the same. Number 10. Sebastian Haller Right after making a big move to Borussia Dortmund, with Erling Haaland's departure, Dortmund sought to fill his shoes with Haller, fresh off a record-breaking season with Ajax, where he emerged as the top goal scorer in the Dutch league. But just two weeks into his new chapter in Germany, Haller received devastating news. He was also diagnosed with testicular cancer. Despite the grueling treatment regimen that followed, including chemotherapy and two surgeries, Haller refused to let cancer dim his spirit. He fought like a true champion, refusing to let his battle overshadow his innate talent. And guess what? Within a mere six months, he made a triumphant return to the pitch. And not just any return. He came back with a bang, scoring a hat-trick in a friendly game against Basel. But Haller's story isn't unique. He joins a league of extraordinary individuals who have faced this formidable foe head-on and emerged stronger than ever. 
Anyways, what do you guys think? Do you happen to know any other footballers who fought through similar conditions? Do drop your thoughts in the comment section below, and we'll meet again in the next episode. Until then, see ya!